Hi everyone, I'm Stephen from Vector Optics. Hello guys, this is Evelyn from Vector Optics. Welcome back to our live stream. Yeah. And today, we are also going to talk about a river sign. Because uh, for many customers, especially for beginners, they will find there is mm -hmm. a big price gap. Between, That's true, yes. Between different riddle signs. Some mm -hmm. budget riddles. Maybe only ten to fifteen dollars. Oh, that's so cheap. Yes, but some riddle signs will be up to eight hundred, one thousand dollars. Wow, that's a great money for that. Yes. So maybe you are also confused why mm. there is a so big price gap between different products, and also how to know a high quality riddle sign and what a high quality riddle sign can provide you. This is what we are going to talk about today. Wow, well, Evelyn, you have a lot of the question today. Yes. I think you will know that too. Yet, yeah, just as you said, in the market, you can find a lot of the budget, or we can say very cheap riddle scope, yes. right in the market, like on the Amazon or eBay or AliExpress, you can find like 15 bucks riddle scope. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you can still find a very good quality and very expensive radio scope or radio site, and marked the market price can reach eight hundred dollars. Yes, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. But today, we will introduce our scrapper radio scopes. Mm -hmm. That's a very high quality. Red scope. Yes, but affordable one. Yes, with the affordable price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have our word. Just like I said, we have three models here. Yes. I can show you. Please give me one. We mainly design this red scope for the AR platforms. Of course, it can fit on any of the caliber which has a Picatinny rails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Picatinny rails. We have the riser mount, we have the low mount tools. Yeah. And it can be used on the hunting gun and shotgun too. Like this. That one is with the low wheel mount. You can do a hunting very good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's okay, let's go on. Would you like to make a simple introduction on these three modes? Yes, you have a question that how to know it's a good quality red scope. Let's do a very brief introduction. In the first, we have the three models. One is the 1x22, mm -hmm. this one is the 25, 1x25, and the last one is the 1x29mm. That's the objective lens, objective lens website. One by twelve. One by twenty-two. One by oh, yes, one by twenty-two, one by twenty-five, and then one by twenty-nine. Yes. Now the main feature for that is we can say it's the fifty thousand hours battery runtime. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite hard. You don't need to worry about the battery consuming. You can use it at least three years without changing the batteries. Yes. And IPX6 waterproof. Mm -hmm. That's the real waterproof, not the water resistance. Now yes. maybe say we will say a lot of the redoscope they say they are waterproof, but indeed they are not. I have a question. Yes, please. What is IPX6 exactly mean? Oh, that's a good question. That means IPX6 waterproof, or we say IP67, also the same. That means you can put the red or scope or anything under one meter water deep yes. and three minutes. 30. Yes, oh, sorry. Yes, 30 minutes, half hour. For that, that's the real waterproof. Yes. Yeah, and you have a lot of the good features too. So we can introduce you 
we might want our layers. Mm -hmm. How about the mount height? Oh, yes, that's a good question. Please check. We have the three of the different height for the rhinoscope. A small one that we say is 40 millimeters. Yes. That's one third lower witness. Mm -hmm. One third lower witness for that small one. For this one by 25 millimeter rhinoscope, it is absolute co witness as the mostly wide used riddle, the height, I mean the center height, yes. is the most widely used rhinoscope, the height. I repeat, it's the absolute co witness. Mm -hmm. And the big one, the large one, is the one and a half inch higher. It's yes. one and a half inch higher. Yes. In the modern shooting market, these three height are the main for that. And I repeat, one third lower witness, absolute co witness, and one and a half inch for the same height. Okay, so just as you said, you mentioned about the waterproof IPX4. Mm -hmm. Actually, we prepared a waterproof test today, and we will do the test later to show you whether it is IPX6 waterproof. And also, we will do the screw talk test, frozen mm -hmm. test, extreme temperature test, parallax test, and also shockproof test. Mm, and a lot of the test. Yes, to show you the features. Yeah, you know that a lot of the, please go to the first page, I will say a lot of the radar scope, they say they have many, many advantages. Advantage. Uh, not this one, the, a lot of the 50 hours, 50,000 hours. This page. This page, okay. Yes, a lot of the radar scope or optics, they say they have very high end. Everyone can see that it's an advertisement, but we will show you that what it is really is how to take so many tests without any malfunction. That's our task and mission today. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on. If you watched our last live stream, mm -hmm. you will know we need to do some preparations for the test because the test will take 20 to 30 minutes. So we have to do the pre preparation now to and show you the result at the end of our live stream. So let's start. Yeah, let's do some prepare. Yes. By the way, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. yeah, or want to ask, or if you like our live stream, please give us a like or leave any comment. Yes. Okay, please come on. Yeah. Yes, how about we start with the waterproof? Here is the device for our waterproof test, and this container is one meter deep. Let's have a check. Okay, can you see that? One meter. That's one meter height of the water. Okay. okay. And here is the product. We'll do the. Yeah, please light it on first. Yes, it is on because it is <laughs> motion sensor. Yeah. And I have already tied it on a fish line and you can see it is on now. Yeah, please have a look. It's on. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's put it. Let's drop it in the waters. <laughs> You're like go fishing. Good. Okay. okay, this is the first one, waterproof test, and the next one, if you watch our last live stream, you know what is it? It's a heating machine, and our test temperature is 60 degrees Celsius, yeah. equals to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. and our scraper, its working temperature is 55 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. And the test temperature is 60 degrees. And this is the model we would like to do the test. 
it's worked now. Yeah. Have a look. Mm. Wow, it's 60 centigrade. Wow, that's very hot, extreme test. Good. Yes. Okay. So I will put it into the machine. It's hot now. Good. Okay. And the last one is frozen test. Let's go to the refrigerator. Okay, let's go. You need to calculate it now or later? Later, I'm after I put it yeah. into the refrigerator. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot to get my Use this one. Use this one. Uh, okay, this one is also on. Please have a look. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. Okay, here is our refrigerator and I have already put it. And you can see the temperature is minus 18 degree Celsius. Minus 18 degrees Celsius. Did you see that? Yes. And this is where I like to put our product. Just put here. Yes. Put it back. And let's check whether it is still working after 30 minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's click the clock. Yes. So this is the timer. Let's start. Okay, from now on, 30 minutes. Let's check it. Okay. Good. Let's go on our. Yep. Here's the our one by twenty-five. Combined with our three magnifier, you will see the the center line. Match perfect one. Yes, That's okay. absolute coherence. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember that absolute coherence? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Let's about uh, introduce the features specifications mm -hmm. to our customers during the test time. Yes. Okay. Let's do the unboxing as usual, right? Okay. Good. Let's go. <clears throat> Good feature. Yes, as usual. When you have the orders, you will take a box like this. Our model numbers, name of that, our product photos, our logo, screw number, website. Our, our brand. On the back is the general specifications, yeah, including the click values, total click adjustment range, blah blah like that. Yes, just slide on it. Every you see every our high end product. They are covered with a foam to do a more better, I mean much better protection during the shipping. During the shipping. Yeah. Our lifetime tailored warranty. Yeah. And instructions. A piece of cleaning clothes. Yeah, in a transparent bag. <clears throat> this is the general layout of the redox scope. Of the redox scope. That's the hex key. Top head hex key. One low weaver mount. Let me take it out.
low wave amount. Okay, let's let me take out our star today. Wrapped with a plastic bag. Good quality rubber cover and very good quality without any smell. Without any smell, very good quality. Here now is our radar scope. As I said, it's an absolute co witness radar scope. 50,000 hours better runtime with motion sensor feature. I mean, it's a smart on a weak function. Two minutes auto shut off. You put it here without any movement, two minutes, your, the dot will be off. And you just slightly touch it or move it, the dot will be on immediately. Okay, let's go on. Now, the overall of the lens is about 30 millimeters 70. or 70 millimeter, 70 millimeters, about 2.7 inch of the overall lens. Yeah. And the mounting lens, I mean the mount lens is 56 millimeter. I repeat 56 millimeter for the mounting lens. And the overall height from the bottom to the top of the turret is about 46 millimeter, 1.8 inch. The overall height, the overall height of the radar scope. Uh, I'm sorry, the overall wide, overall wide for that. The overall height for the radar scope is 70 millimeter two. It's a seven millimeter tooth. Yeah, from the bottom to the top. The total weight when you feel it's just the exact weight for your needs, for your shooting needs. About 190 gram, 6.7 ounce. Yeah. Not heavy not light, just the exact weight for that. Okay, and one very good feature is that the dot is only 2 MOA. So why this product is 2 MOA dot size? Yes, you know, on the market, on the market there are a lot of the different MOA size, I mean the dot size, like the 1 MOA, 2 MOA, 3 MOA, even 6 or 20 MOA. They are for the different purpose. But 2 and 3 MOA are most popular, are the most popular. But why we choose the 2 MOA? Because it's very good and it's better for the precision shooting. That's the reason. If you use a small dot sight, it's good for the precision shootings. Yeah, we choose the two MOA dot sides. We will do a parallax test. You will see how small it is. And the dot intensity is total 10 levels. Eight regular levels plus two night vision levels. Two night vision levels. That's total 10 levels. Eight regular one, regular levels and the two for night visions. And the total click range is 45 MOA, 45 MOA. The click value is 1 MOA. Total adjustment range is 45 MOA. Right? If you have any question, you just ask. Yeah, do not hesitate to ask us any question for the I will reply to you one by one, okay? The total adjustment range is 41, 45 MOA. 
One quick feature for the redoscope is that we used, I mean, the lightning resource is the direct bulb. It's the direct bulb. What does direct bulb mean? Yeah, the direct bulb means that we don't use the actual slaughter to cover the lighting resource. So at any of the angle, any of the positions, you will have the same illuminated dot intensity. You don't want some cheap radioscope, you will see at these positions, at maybe at 9 o'clock, it becomes weak. Maybe at two o'clock positions, you will see, wow, it goes brighter. That's the actual slaughter settings. But ours is direct verb. You can use it at any of the conditions and any of the positions, it remains the same dot intensity. Yeah, that's one of the great feature for that. And we will also see the edge of the, see, the lens, the edge of the lens is very high quality tools. We, the edge, the lens edge is covered with the black, covered with the black, covered with the black, black painting, yeah. And we use the good circuit board and good lightning resource. The battery runtime is 50,000 hours. 50,000 hours. That's a very long time battery runtime. 50,000 battery runtime okay it's the motion sensor features two minutes two minutes auto off i repeat two minutes auto off you put on the tables or you put on the on your track two minutes will be off but when you move it or you just uh, slight touch that the dot will be on immediately immediately two minutes or two off for a weak feature smart on a weak feature mm. and the battery style is 2032 2032 okay oh let's move it that's the 2032 battery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Good. Yeah. 2032. It's very easy to replace or put the battery. Just release the cap and put the battery inside and It. The scope, as I said before, it's IPX6 waterproof. Yeah, waterproof. That you can put it under one meter water, I mean one meter deep waters for 30 minutes. It was still on. And the, the water the side of the scope won't leak any water inside. Yeah, we will see later for that. Yes. The last one is that the screw, the connect, connecting screw is blue painted. Yes. It's blue painted. Let's remove one. Okay. It's very tiny. Let's try to show you. I'm not quite sure if you can see it clearly. No. No? Yes. Yeah, please do me a favor. Yes. Let's see. It's a 
blue painted. Show that to me. Yeah, Evelyn, you can show them. Can you see the blue painting? Oh. Yeah, it's the blue painting. Can you see the blue painting? Yeah. And maybe you can use your nail to see, use your nail to lift it. Yes, use the nail to lift it. It's the blue painted. There is blue painted. Yeah. There is blue painted. Do you know why we do this in the blue painted one? No, I'm not exactly no. Why? Yes. We do that because after we use all our products are designed for the real fire calibers, even a very heavy recoil like the 12 gauge, okay? And 3006, like that big caliber for that. After many of the recoil, if you don't use the blue painted screws, maybe this maybe the connections between the mount and the side will become loose. Oh. So you are loose. So in that case, you will lose your center point. Okay. Yeah, it will be very loose. Yes, and, and broken. And maybe. as I know, these screws are made of steel. Yes, that's true. Made of steel. This is made of the steel too. The screw and these screws too. Yes. Yeah. And Will that be okay for me to share a funny thing in this live stream? Yes, why not? What's the funny thing for that? Because that time we do the waterproof test, uh -huh. just use this container, we do waterproof test, and you know, we tied the fish line on the product, but the fish line is loose and I can't take it out. And I, I, I remember, and the screw uh -huh. is made of steel, so we use the magnet to pull it out. Oh, that's very interesting. That's a very smart. Yes. You're smart. Yes, yes because yes. I remember you say mm. that screw is made of steel. It's, yeah. it's so fresh for me. Yeah, it's very hard and very high strength for that. You can take many, many repeating, I mean, for the high recoil calibers without any problems. Yes. Okay. Okay, and when you introduce the features, you mm -hmm. said that uh, you will show you. Mm -hmm. You will show the parallax test after mm -hmm. the unboxing. Mm -hmm. So how about now? Yes. Oh, uh, talk of uh, parallax. It's up to you. Okay, let's do parallax first. Okay. Okay, let's check the okay. hot point. Yes, yes. See, oh, let me light on a little bit of the dot intensity to increase it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, please hold a Y. Let me find a good target for him. Now we will see the dot is on the screen now. Oh my goodness, she's running. Catch her. Good, good, good. Now we let me move the site to 12 o'clock, down to the 6 o'clock. Oops, 
lose the focus. Wait a minute. Yeah. Three o'clock. Nine o'clock. Let's do a little bit dancing for that. Now we will see, as I said, the parallax is very good. Is focused on the same point and the dot intensity remains the same illuminations. Remains the same illumination, same level of the brightness without flicker, without flicker. See, at any positions, the dot still on the same, still on the same target without flickers and keep the same dot intensity, not one position weaker or other positions brighter, same. Okay, oh, that uh, the light you will see after two minutes, it's off. Let's give a little touch for that. You will see, it's a good test too. That's the smart on a weak features. Great. Evening, that's fine. Please go back. Wow, she's running. Is the test success or not? Okay, please. Yes, and we also see the awake features. Oh, two minutes off and awake immediately. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, so, I, yeah, and I said it's a very good feature. That paradox free. By the way, by the way, by the way, it's remain same dot intensity, no matter the dot at what position it is, yeah. and without flicker, without flickers. That's very good advanced technology for that. Mm -hmm. So our parallax test is passed. Sure. Okay, now let's go back to the screw issues. Yeah. Let's do the talk, screw talk test. Yeah. Okay, please. Please come on. Yeah. See the details. The many of the cheap rotoscope, they can only maybe take the recoil very, I mean the light recoil and the, if you use it like the 223, like that, maybe after 50 or 100 rounds, the mount will broken. Well, it will be broken. They don't do that. We don't do that. We use the very high tech for our schools. I will explain to you. Now, this is a talk. Wrench. Yeah, wrench. And uh, it's the rose test. Rose test. It can test from, let me see, how the minimum is 4 to the highest to 30. The general use is that 25, mm -hmm. but we will do some extreme like the 30s. Okay, let's put, now the default position is around the 24 to 25. Yeah, that's our way. Now, that's, that means fasten to the end, and we give go on force for that. Can you hear that? Yeah. Let's say after 24, it will go past that. Yes. Good. Let's do a 30. 30 inch pounds. Yes. That's the 30 inch pound for that. Okay. Wow, it's a big force for that. Oh. Okay, good. okay. That's good. Yes. So why we do that, I will release the 
screws yes. for you to explain why it can hold so big force for that. That's the screw of 12.9 class steel screws. Very good quality without any strip. Yes. Without any strip. The clamp. And let me do me a favor. Let's show the customer that it is, you see, is the steel sleeve inside. Maybe you can point point it. Okay. That's the steel sleeve inside. Yes. Now make sure the thread and the nut can connect in perfect conditions. I repeat, it passed 30 inch pound force for that. You don't need to worry about it for any of the big recoil. Mm -hmm. The scope can be used on that caliber without any problem. Yes, so our screw clock test is passed too. Great, great, great. And I found that the time is 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. We also have 5 minutes left. So how about we do the recoil test first? Yes, which one will we use? Uh, the same one? one? Yes. Okay. Let's do some preparations. Good quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, as usual, we use the optic collimator. Yes, collimator. Yeah, collimator for that. We will adjust the dot center with the collimator center. With the collimator center. Release the two caps of it. Okay, please show me. Get me that. Now, uh, since it's our, uh, it's not very so clear, but we will see that the dot is located in the four o'clock of the centers. A little bit zoom to check the luck for that. Okay, yeah, we got that, right? It's the four o'clock, four o'clock, four o'clock of the center dot. Let's do the center line. Yeah, please hold. It reverses one click, one MOA adjustment. Perfect. Yeah. Now the dot center, the center of the dot is perfect in the same positions of the collimator centers. I cannot be seen very clearly because of the foam issues, but in my at my side they match perfect in the center. Okay. Let's let's move. Move to the 
punch machine to okay. check the recoil. Let me open the door. Yes. Let me check. Okay, let's put this. Yeah, that's the punch machines. You have the ear protection for that. It's very loud and horrible. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> I will enjoy it, but you may not for that. Okay. Enjoy the sound. Okay, how many times? Ten times. Yeah, ten I times. Can't okay, okay. To remove that. Okay. Let's take it from the of the center. Yes. Aha, my sight is perfectly matched for that. Obviously. Yes, of course. Do you need light on it? Okay. Good. Let's check. Perfect of the perfect. Now, still in the centers. I mean, after 10 times of the heavy recoil, it's still in the center. I mean, the dot redoscope center is in the same positions, is in the same position of, of the collimator centers. Good. Okay. So our recoil test is past two. Good. So what's the time now? Uh, it's 72 minutes, um, it's just okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's check that. Yes, let's check our previous test. And the first one is the waterproof test. If you didn't watch our live stream on time, I will introduce it again. Because our scraper uh, is IPX6 waterproof. It yeah. means that it can use under 1 meter for 30 minutes. It's still on. It still can use. And mm. this is our test. I have put... Yeah, let's go fishing! I have put it into a 1 meter container. You have a big fish. I yes. Wear it. And, and time is 32 minutes. 
paper to yes just let me check okay the red dot is still on fantastic so the waterproof vest that means the real waterproof a lot of the red dot scope they say the waterproof they are just ipx4 water resistance that means you can only be used on 30 millimeter deep waters and five minutes only while ours are ipx6 waterproof you yes. can use 30 minutes under one meter deep waters yes good so and it's passed our first test is passed and good. the next one is the high temperature test ah. okay the red <laughs> is still on let's have a look yeah. the test temperature is uh, 60 degrees celsius equals to 140 degrees mm. fahrenheit and the test time last for 30 minutes last for 30 minutes yes you found the red dot and the red dot is still on or maybe you can take out to have a better view for that okay good the red dot is still on you can take it yeah out. watch out you may cook okay. yourself yes it's a little fun it's still on and <laughs> Good? Very good. Okay, go on to the last one. Wow, and frozen we'll test. Yes. So we check the result. Whatever. Yes, so the waterproof test is passed. The extreme temperature test, also the high temperature test, is passed too. And the last one is the frozen test. Let's go to the refrigerator to check the result. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is the refrigerator where we do the test and we can check the temperature. Oh, it's minus 21 degrees Celsius now, minus 21 degrees Celsius. And our scrapper's rocking temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius. Let's see whether it is still working. Okay, it frozen <laughs> again, it frozen again. It was hard for me. Oh, okay, you can see it. Uh, it's frozen. It's frozen. Uh, can you see the red dot? Can you see the red dot? The red dot is still on. And the test lasts for 30 minutes. Uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius. Minus 20 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. It's still on. And there's so many ice around it. Okay. Just put it back. It's still, it's still frozen. Yeah, that's funny. It's the icy ones, yeah. like the ice cream. Yes. That's funny. Let's put it here. It's cold. Yes. So, the last one. The frozen, the frozen test. test. Good. Pass the two. Yes. The frozen and I, please, please move yes. forward. I will show you the that one is the recoil test and the screw torque test. Let's check how the shape, how the look, how's the looking of the screws. See, just like the new one, just like the new one. Yeah, without strip, without strip, the screws. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. And we use the inside of the steel sleeve to connect with the screw yeah. to make sure you can use it use the red scope on the heavy caliber without any problem yes good so all the above are the tests we like to do today and all of them are great tests 
So if you like these tests, please give us a like and mm. or summer or leave the comments. Yeah, and again, that I repeat, that small web we have the three models. If we just see our live stream and we introduce, we have three models for that. One, the first one is the small one, one by twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one third lower witness. One third lower witness for the small one. For the middle one is one by twenty-five. Yes. One by twenty-five. That one is absolute co-witness. Absolute co-witness. We have a big one. The large one you have a great, great, great big wide view of view since it's not 29 millimeter objective lens. It's the center height, I mean the dot center height is 1.5, that's one and a half inch of the center height, of the dot center height. Three models have the same features that 50,000 hours better runtime can connect to the night vision goggles and two minutes auto off smart on a weak motion sensor feature IPX6 waterproof. Yes. Yes, we just proved it. Yeah, and can take the extreme cold and very hot, extreme hot conditions. Yes. Yeah, that's a very good one. You can it for each of the very expensive radioscope adventures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are there any other information you would like to emphasize on again? Yeah, I think that should be all. Yes, so all about uh, what we like to share today. Mm -hmm. If you like our live stream, please give us a like and mm -hmm. leave a comment if you have any question about this product mm -hmm. or any other product of Victor Optics. Just leave the comment or send us emails. We will reply to you as soon as possible. If you like this kind of live stream, you can tell us what products you like mm -hmm. to see in our live stream room, and maybe we will do it next time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. by the way, I forgot to mention that the middle one, mm -hmm. the center line, co witness. I mean, sorry, the co center aligned with our three magnifier. Perfect match for that. Yeah. If you want to do the CQB or close range, you can remove it, remove from the from the by the by the twist mount. When you want to do the precision long range shooting, you can take it back. Yeah. For better of the shootings. They very good center aligned with our three magnifies, with our scrapper. Redoscopes. That's absolute co witness redoscope. Yes. Okay. So, no more information only about our today's live stream. If you like it, give us a like and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and see you next month.